Shalom, everyone. I'm very excited to start a series on the Aleph Bet and Keria. We're going to learn everything from Aleph until Taf. But before anything, I always like to start the Aleph Bet with a special story. And this is how it goes. When Hashem was making the Torah, Hashem wanted to figure out who, which letter is going to be first. And all the letters came to Hashem. And they were all screaming, the Torah should start with me. I should be first. I'm a special letter. And Hashem couldn't handle so much noise. And Hashem said, everyone get into a straight line. And they all came to Hashem in a straight line. From Taf to Aleph. Straight line. And the Taf came first and said, Hashem, the Torah should start with me. The word emet, the truth, which is Hashem's most important word. It's Hashem's signature is emet, the truth. The Torah should start with me. But Hashem said, on the other hand, Taf is also for Mavit when someone passes away. And that's sad. And Hashem said, the Torah should not start with something sad. So let's go to the next letter. The Sheen came to Hashem and said, Hashem, I stand for shalom, peace. The Torah should start with me. But Hashem said, yeah, but when you put the Sheen with the letters next to it, the Resh and the Kof, when you put it together, it says Sheker, a lie. And Hashem didn't want to start the Torah with a lie. So the Sadi came to Hashem and said, Hashem, I'm the Sadi. I'm the letter that stands for the Tzaddik who learns Torah all day. The Torah should start with me. And Hashem said, Sadi, you're already so special. I can't give you two special things. I'm going to have to find a different letter. And the Peh and the Ayin came to Hashem and said, Hashem, the Torah should start with us. But Hashem said, nope. The Peh is for Pesha. So when Ayin is for Avon when we do something wrong. I can't start the Torah with those letters. I need to find a different letter, something nice. And the Samach and the Nun came to Hashem and said, Hashem, the Torah should start with us. And Hashem said, I can't. Nun is for Nofel, someone who falls. Samach is for Somech, someone who picks up someone who fell. I need the Samach and the Nun to be together. I need the Samach to pick up the Nun when he falls. So I can't start the Torah with you. Next, the Mem came to Hashem and said, I stand for Melech. Mem, Lamed, Chav, the Torah should start with us. But Hashem said, you're already so special. I can't give you two special things. We're going to have to skip. And then the Yud came. But Hashem said, the Yud, the yud He, and the Vav are the letters of Hashem's name. They're so special. We can't even say it. I can't start the Torah. You're already so special. You're Hashem's name. We can't start with that letter. We need to find a different letter. And the Chet and the Tet came to Hashem. But again, Chet and Tet, when we misbehave, Chet, Hashem didn't want to start with the Chet and Tet. Then the Zayin came, but Hashem said, Zayin, you're, you mean weapon. Hashem doesn't want to start the Torah with the weapon. And the Gimel and the Dalit came to Hashem. Hashem, the Torah should start with us. But Hashem said, nope, I need the Gimel and the Dalit together. Dalit is, Dal is someone poor. Gimel is when you do Gemilut Hasadim, when we do Chesed. I need the Gimel to help out the Dalid. I need the Gimel, which is Chesed, to help out the poor Dalid. I need you together. Torah can't start with you. And then the Bet came to Hashem and said, Bet Beracha. And Hashem said, I love the Bet Beracha. I really think we should start Torah with the Bet. Think of all the wonderful Berachot we say. Hashem said, I'm starting the Torah with the Bet, and that's it. And boom, the first word of the Torah is Bereshit. Whenever we look at the first word in the Torah, bet, that big, huge bet, it's so exciting, so beautiful. And yes, bet became the first letter. But then Hashem looked, and there was one more letter. There was an Aleph. Aleph, do you have anything to say? And Aleph kept quiet. Aleph, say something. Aleph stayed quiet. Aleph didn't want to talk. It didn't want to take away something good that the bet already received. It, Aleph was thinking, once Hashem gave the bet a gift of being the first letter in the Torah, 
That's not fair to take it away. And the Aleph stayed quiet. It did not talk. So finally, Hashem decided, you know what? Because Aleph was quiet and didn't make a sound, Aleph gets to be the first letter of the Aleph Bet. And that's how we're starting our store, our Aleph Bet, with the letter Aleph that does not make a sound.